The rubber glove industry in Malaysia has been much affected during the course of 2016. The industry has been facing issues of cost increase, fluctuation of raw material prices and the volatility in the exchange rate. But how are these industries cope with such issues? Sharing his insight with us is none other than Tan Sri Lim Wichai, chairman and founder of Top Glove Corporation Berhad. Major rubber glove players in Malaysia have been facing certain issues plaguing the industry. Some of those issues include cost increase, namely the upward revision in the natural gas tariff, as well as the minimum wage. The fluctuation in raw material price and issues on the foreign workers have also been a concern of the industry. As for the challenges that comes from the volatility in the exchange rate, Top Glove for one, which benefits from a stronger US dollar as an exporter said it prefers a stable ringgit. Meanwhile, competition in the nitrile glove segment has been increasing as competitors ramp up their capacity, leading to a pricing pressure. The cost will continue to increase. We have to manage our cost well. And other challenges like infrastructure, make sure the Malaysia government or Strangor state especially must have enough water supply to us. So to overcome this challenge, water shortage problem, we have to treat water, treat our own water, recycle our water, so that we have sufficient water to run our production lines, to build new factories, mm -hmm. so that we have en enough water, enough electricity, enough natural gas, enough workers so there are many challenges so we hope everybody work together to face the challenges so we must expect and prepare for it so that one by one we overcome business is not easy especially in international business although the new year has only just begun and many corporations and smes are having a positive sentiment for the first half of 2017 despite the slow global growth the rubber glove industry is expected to face more oncoming challenges this year top glove expects to see a further cost increase in utilities water shortages and raw material price volatility. It also said recruiting and retaining quality talents to support its rapid expansion would also be a challenge. The opening up of markets with trade packs like the AEC will also increase competition from outside the country. We are very fortunate to be in the healthcare industry where the standard of living is going up every year. The world population is growing every year, so the demand for rubber glove is growing up every year. Top glove has been expanding every year. For the past 15 years, we have expanded or our compounded annual growth rate is about 20% or more. So we continue to grow. So now we have 28 factory, we are building more factory. So every year we build one or two factories. The demand for rubber glove, medical rubber glove, is growing very well. Every year about six to eight percent. We must expand healthily and efficiently. If not, we cannot compete because other country or other players, glove players, they are also expanding. Then if everybody expand too fast, there will be over supply situation. The demand may be 8%, but you supply increase 10%, there will be a oversupply. And then we need the government support as well, so that when we apply for development order, building plan for the factory, infrastructure, road, electricity, water, telecommunication, make sure the government come and facilitate us. But of course, we have to do our part as well. Lah. So we must continue to do our part. So work together with other people, so that the company will continue to expand, continue to grow. To support the depreciating ringgit, Bank Negara Malaysia in December 2016 has announced various measures, including one that requires exporters to convert 75% of their proceeds into ringgit. The measures 
thought up by the Central Bank's Financial Markets Committee will not only require exporters to reduce their foreign currency holdings, but also ensure payments to suppliers are in ringgit and that foreign currency investments onshore are kept in check. Lim said the current move by the central bank does not effectively address the root of the problem. He noted that in order to improve the value of the ringgit, a better transparency and integrity are needed in both the government and the private sectors. Rubber glove we sell in the world market in US dollar, so we receive US dollar, more than 95% in US dollar. We also purchase raw material, international commodity like natural rubber latex or nitrile latex. 50% of our manufacturing cost is raw material. So we have to pay in uh, US dollar. So the reason during the Bank Nagara forced the exporter to convert 75% to ringgit, which was not so good. So you should have dialogue uh, with the industry to get feedback instead of make announcement, a decision that will affect the, the, the exporter and the business community. But after our feedback recently, the industry feedback, so they changed quickly to allow us to convert back to US dollar, but convert from US to ring it, ring it to US dollar is very unproductive. Mm -hmm. A lot of work, paperwork. Mm -hmm. This is no good for business. Business must run efficiently, like freeway, highway, zoom, no root block, no turning, must go straight. Then the business will be very efficient and we can compete in the world market. He added that the government must realise that the manufacturing sector is the backbone of the country's economic development and should implement more supportive policies that facilitate its growth. So the government should always encourage efficiency. The recent issue of the foreign workers that the employer need to pay levy also not so good. The government announced and in a, such a hurry manner that do not have notice or do not have a proper dialogue with the industry. Not only affecting the uh, rubber glove industry, but affecting many other manufacturing industry. As you know, manufacturing is a very important factor to, or very important sector uh, to the Malaysian economy. And almost 80% of the proceed or 80% of the Malaysia export is depend on manufacturing sector. So the government decision making has to be very careful and must think thoroughly, proper feedback, survey, dialogue with the industry so that we can make a correct decision. Because government is very important to the country. Just like any leader, you make decision, must make a correct decision. If not, the mistake can be very expensive to the government, to the country, to the industry. Then the investor will be affecting their sentiment, affecting their investment, affecting their long-term investment in Malaysia. If the government keep changing things that not in their favour, the investor will be afraid to come and invest. And the old investor, the assisting investor will be afraid and they will move away. Then it's no good for economy of the country. So we must encourage new investor and the assisting or old investor in Malaysia will continue to invest. Competition in the rubber glove industry is expected to intensify as major players are planning for production capacity increase. The opening up of markets with trade packs like the AEC will also increase competition from the overseas markets, creating a situation where only the best and the fittest survive.